In Morocco, many women celebrate that stories like Jane Mansouri's are becoming less common. Married at just 13, Mansouri followed a once typical path of going from the control of her father's home to her husband's, a man who was more than twice her age. <laughs> He wrapped her hand with uh, the headboard of the bed. In addition to sexual abuse, she was blamed for having a disabled child. They used to insult me and curse me. Mansouri is now divorced and glad that child marriage is no longer legal in Morocco. I think there is uh, women are more protected than they used to be. In 2004, there was a sweeping change to the family law in Morocco known as Mudawana. Women gained rights never seen before, being able to choose their husband to becoming an equal partner in marriage. With legal rights to property, women now don't have to fear living on the streets if their husband divorces them. They can remarry and keep their children. Now the, the divorce is not in the hands of the husband. It's in the hands of the judge. Fatima Siddiqui, an expert in women's studies, says Moroccan women gained those rights through strategy and circumstance. All the ingredients of the historical moments were present at a specific point, and we had the changes. In 2003, the country was shocked by the bombings in Casablanca. There were Moroccans killing Moroccans. That was a big shock, a big shock for Moroccans. And then extremism was uh, banned by everyone. It was an opportunity to back women's rights still based on Sharia or religious law. Those texts were read with new lenses. Finally, the changes were carefully worded to be about family rights and to be inclusive of the religious spectrum of all Moroccans. They rallied these young veiled feminists by demystifying the veil and saying we have no problem with the cloth you put on your head. The most important thing is to give women rights. That made it. Women legally have more rights now. The problem is many don't know it or know how to fight for those rights. It's estimated 60% of Moroccan women are illiterate, a more prominent problem in rural areas. Mentalities have improved, but we still have to um, work on it, and especially in the poor areas. Yusa Benshrif comes from an economically better background. She's educated and aware of her new rights. I feel now so free, and I don't care about what people would say. Benshrif works at the university, will be pursuing her PhD, and lives on her own, which a few years ago would have raised eyebrows. The spirit of the Mudawana changed the, the, the mentality so right. that now people are, especially women, are more empowered. While many Moroccan men were in support of the changes, the new rights, including the right to property, is unsettling for some. Young men, especially in my age, are very concerned about getting married because they think if they get married, uh, if, if they divorce, they have to share their uh, fortune. From the side of men, there's just this fear of Mudawana, even if they didn't even read it. So they just say, OK, it's, um, it's a weapon now in, in, in women's hands. But it's not, actually. It just gave them their natural rights. Natural rights for people like Benshrif to pursue her dreams, to protect young women like Mansouri from abuse. Natural rights that many women in this part of the world say are long overdue. Seema Mather, Fez Morocco for CNN's Inside Africa.